Hey guys, good evening. Welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. Uh, me quería disculpar chicos porque fíjense que esta semana he tenido problemas para entrar exactamente a la clase de ustedes entonces lo voy a reportar yo después de la clase porque desde las 9 con un minuto estoy tratando de entrar y se queda cargando el usuario con la contraseña así que lo voy a reportar chicos y ahí les pido una disculpa de veras que no sé qué es lo que sucedió pero voy a ver si tomo una acción distinta la otra semana quizás voy a dar una clase en una computadora y ya cuando me toque con ustedes me voy a pasar a otra porque quizás como se queda cargando verdad la información de la clase anterior por eso es que tengo problemas para ingresar con ustedes así que mil disculpas okay but I'm here thank you very much for joining guys welcome and this is class number 12 okay class number 12 I'm going to um, I'm going to open the class just give me one sec Um, let me see. By the way, guys, if you have questions about the platform, okay, today we can cover that as well. Right, this is class number 12. Let's see, class number 12. So if you have questions about the platform, you can let me know and we can cover that today, okay? Also, yes, teacher, I okay. have a question. Okay, tell me, what is the question? In the exam final, in the primera, in the listening, I think it looks bad. El listening. Ah, ese fue sí. el que vimos, ¿verdad, Rosita? El que hicimos aquí, sí, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, pero... con letras, mayúsculas, minúsculas, números y todo me sale mal. ¿Y cuándo lo intentó? Ahora en la tarde. Ahora en la tarde. Porque con Rosita lo reportamos y nos lo arreglaron. Se supone que ya está trabajando bien, ¿verdad? Pero lo podemos volver a revisar. No hay problema, este, eh, sí. Marín. Uh -huh. Sí, tranquila. Yo sé que ya sabe, ¿ok? Lo okay, que eh, también puede hacer es cerrar sesión y abrir su usuario y, y volver a ingresar la, las respuestas porque... Good evening, teacher. Good evening, welcome, Reina. Welcome to the class. Porque okay. a veces es por la actualización de la página, porque así me pasó a mí ayer. Exacto, it is correct, right? So actually, we will, I would recommend to uh, probably do it again. So hopefully, uh, today we're going to be able, eh, vamos a poder hoy... Este, Marilyn, ya vamos a ver, permítanme. Give me one second. It's still loading, guys. My apologies. Now, guys, what do you remember from yesterday's, from yesterday's class? What do you remember? I'm sorry, Reina. No, perdón, perdón. No, okay. So, guys, what do you have, uh, what do you remember, I'm sorry, from yesterday's class? What, uh, what is the information that you remember? Um, baseball, food. Um, contable, no contable. Okay, very good. We talked about countable and non-countable nouns, right? And what about what about examples of countable and non-countable nouns? What do you remember from yesterday? Countable and non-countable nouns. Can you give me examples of countable nouns? Can you give me examples of countable nouns? Right? I'm sorry. Apple. Uh, um, countable. Orange. Pizza, you can count. Okay, apples. Orange. Orange. Oranges. Okay, you can count oranges. What else? No countable. The rice. Oh, eh, sugar. Rosita, pero en ese caso son ejemplos de countable, las cosas que sí puede contar. Ah, eh, Rosita nos decía uncountable, nos decía rice and sugar. Lemons, right? You can count lemons. Okay, what mm. else? Um... Yes, you can count them, right? You can count hocotes. Very good. What else? Um, orange. Orange. Television. Mangos. Mangos. Yeah. mangos. You can count mangos, right? Okay. Mangos. What else? Uh, what about strawberry? The tropic? Bananas. The bananas. Bananas too and strawberries. Okay, very good. What about uncountable nouns? What are some of the uncountable nouns? Since that you cannot count. Milk. Milk. Very good. Butter. Lemonade. Lemonade. Okay. Uh, uh, what else? Uncountable water. Water, very good. Okay, water is uncountable. That is correct. Okay, water is uncountable. Uh, what else? Uh, 
for uncountable nouns. Beans. I'm sorry? Beans. Beans. Okay, very good. You cannot rice. count beans. Rice. Rice. Very good. Actually, rice, it's another thing that you cannot count, right? Very good. Okay, what else? Butter. Butter. Please. Okay. I'm sorry? Did you say juice? No se le escucha, Dennis. Dígame. How do you say uh, frijoles molidos? Ground beans. Ground beans. Okay, very good. Uh -huh. Ground beans. Okay, exactly. You cannot count it, right? So let me go ahead and continue with yesterday's class and I will share with you the screen. Finally, it opens. Yay. Okay, just give me one second. So that was about countable and uncountable. Vamos a ver, ¿con qué usamos many? ¿Con qué usamos many? ¿Con countable or uncountable nouns? Many, many, ¿con qué usamos? Yo puedo decir many apples, many oranges, many mangoes. Uh, countable. Countable nouns, very good, excellent. ¿Y cuándo uso much? ¿Cuándo voy a usar much? Cuando es, es incontable o es uncountable. Very good. Okay, excellent, guys. So today, guys, is our session number 12. Session number 12. This is February the 11th, okay? And actually, today, it's like we are going to be finishing uh, section number four, right, which is uh, important information about this. And yes, of course, yesterday we started talking about countable nouns, and we said that countable nouns are the nouns that we can count, and uncountable nouns are the things that we cannot count, lo que no podemos contar, okay? Also, yesterday, we uh, stopped, right, uh, in, a, in a game. And we were talking about some of the things that, uh, some examples, right? De los que vemos acá, cual, what, what about bread? Countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable, very good. What about I, oranges? I, I, I Incountable, incountable. Oh, uncountable, uncountable. Very good. Okay. Countable. Orange. 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 Tomato, okay. Egg. Egg. Muy bien, okay. And the uncountables, los que no se pueden contar, uncountables, we have bread and then milk, milk. and lettuce. Lettuce. Orange juice. Orange, Orange juice, correct. Orange juice. Now, also, um, uh, we said that in the countable nouns, we said that we are we have things that we can count, right? We can count eggs, we can count tomatoes, we can count the strawberries, and we can count oranges, right? And also, we mentioned some examples with uncountable nouns, like bread, in this case, right? It's uncountable. Also, we got a lettuce that is uncountable, right? And also we got milk, that is uncountable too. And last but not least, we got the word chocolate, right? We said that chocolate, the word itself, is uncountable, right? And we said that sometimes we cannot, we cannot just go ahead and use those words and pluralize them. No vamos a venir y vamos a pluralizar una palabra que es incontable. That's not possible, no es posible, ¿verdad? Entonces, we can count, for example, an apple, Two apples, an orange, two oranges, right? Pero con los incontables dijimos, yo no puedo venir y decir milk y luego decir two milks. No, impossible, right? I, I cannot say two milks, ¿verdad? O no puedo decir rice y luego two rices. No, that is not possible, right? So we need to pay attention, right, to the nouns. If it is countable or uncountable, okay? Vamos a ver. And then, uh, actually, we got here, right? Uh, we got here some practice. Y aquí fue donde nos quedamos, right? Yesterday, we stopped here. And we were going to um, say if it, which is the word, right, that we use, which is the particle that we use, okay? Por ejemplo, en este caso, what is this? What's this guy? Hey. 
Okay, pero what what is the what is the 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 picture representing? Wine. Vino. Wine. Very good. It's wine. Very good. So if it's wine, usamos a, n, or some. Um. A, a. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Just the word wine. Solo la palabra wine. Some. Some. Okay. Why? Porque usamos some wine. ¿Por qué será que es un líquido? Es un líquido. La mayoría es incontable. Exactly, because it's a liquid and generally we do not count liquids, right? What else? ¿Qué más? Okay. Then, pero si yo, por ejemplo, digo some wine, ¿verdad? It's okay, right? But actually I can say a bottle of wine, okay? A bottle of wine. Ahí sí ya lo convierto en contable, right? Because I say a bottle of, una botella de a bottle of wine, okay? So very good, okay? What about the next one? What about this one? A. A, very good, a right? It's a carrot, a right? A carrot. A carrot, very good. Why? Because the sound is a consonant sound. I use a, very good. What about this one? A. A, a potato, right? A potato, very good, okay? What about this one? A potato fish. Pero A es para, para singular. Uh, some some potatoes. Some potatoes. Some potatoes. Some potatoes. Okay, actually guys, uh, for these ones, generally, we call them French fries. Okay, French fries. Uh, uh -huh. Okay, uh, so papitas some fritas, French. right? Some French fries. Okay, papitas French fritas. Fries. Mm -hmm. And then, what about this one? What about okay. this? Okay. Okay. Now, in this case, si la foto está mencionando algo específico, una unidad, ¿cómo lo podríamos expresar? A. A, a, cake. a cake. Right. Okay. En este caso, como yo estoy mencionando la unidad, digo a cake. But what if it is already cut? Right. ¿Qué tal si ya lo partieron y ya está? Cake? Muy bien. Okay. Some cake. Some cake. Some cake. A piece of cake, an A cake, okay? Some cake, I'm not being specific, no soy específica. A piece of cake, so you know a piece writes uh, like a little triangle, and then a cake if we're talking about the whole unit, okay? Very good, that's gonna be for this word, cake. And then, what about this one? Some rice. Some rice. Muy bien, some Right, right, some rights, very good. What about this one? Some pasta. Some pasta. Some, some pasta. pasta, very some. good. Some. It's spaghetti. Some. Or it's spaghetti, right? Some pasta or it's spaghetti. What about this one? This one is jam. Mermelada, jam. Some jam. Some jam. Some jam, ok. Yo lo voy a convertir en, 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 en algo que puedo contar si digo a jar of jam, ¿verdad? una jarrita de jalea, a jam or of jam, <laughs> ok. But in this case, if I'm talking just about jam, that's going to be some. Mm -hmm. Then, what about this one? What's this? Some beef. Some beef. Some beef. Okay. ok, you can say beef. Mm -hmm. Or meat, muy bien. Beef or meat. Y los dos van a ser some. Some meat or some, some meat. beef. Uh, ¿Hay alguna diferencia con meat o beef? La diferencia es que meat es en general carne, ¿verdad? Y beef ya ser específico es carne de res. Y el pork es carne de, de cerdo, ¿ok? okay. Pero meat en general es cualquier carne. ¿eh? And then pork, ¿ok? Que es carne de cerdo. Beef, carne de Press pork, carne de cerdo. Okay. Then, what about this one? This one is stick, right? Stick. Some. Okay. A stick. Ah, muy bien. A stick, right? Es un asado, right? Un asado stick. Muy bien. 
en este caso como es un platillo, ¿verdad? Es algo, tiene un nombre específico la receta. Entonces uso a stick, right? Okay. Then, guys, uh, there was an exercise in the platform, okay, about uh, breakfast, okay? Now, uh, volunteer for, uh, for reading, please. Who wants to read the U.S. breakfast? Uh, okay, Rosita, go ahead. Rosita? Can you hear me? Rosita? Creo que está en mute, Rosita, porque no la escuchamos. Ok, Jamie, can you please read the U.S. breakfast, please? Eh, the U.S. says. Yes. Ok, eggs, bacon, toasted with butter, orange juice, juice. coffee, Perdón, orange juice, mm -hmm. coffee, jet o jelly. Very good, excellent. Thank you very much. Yo sé, está eh, bien, pero no, no, no escuchaba. No, no, no se escuchaba. escuchaba. Decía ahí que, estaba su, que su audio estaba conectando, decía, así que no, no le escuchamos, pero ya me va a ayudar oh. con el siguiente. Ajá. So, thank you very much, Jamie. Ok, so, uh, let me mm -hmm. see. I want to check the difference, difference between jam and jelly. I think it's one, well, I don't know. I will need to check first. Give me one second. Okay. So we got a, we got two words in this case, right? We got a jam and jelly. It says the difference between each depends on how much fruit is left in the final product and the finished consistency. Jam is made from whole and cut off pieces of fruit with sugar. Jelly is made from only the fruit juice and sugar. Oh, okay. Entonces, jam, jam la palabra jam es que ambas son jaleas, ¿verdad? Pero jam dice aquí que tiene más, más, más fruta, ¿verdad? Esa jalea, jam tiene más fruta y jelly está hecha más que todo del, del, del jugo de la fruta, ¿ok? Y azúcar. Y está la mer, mermelada. Mermelade it is pres, preserves made with citrus. La mermelada está hecha más que todo de cítricos. Oh, no sabía. En este caso, por ejemplo, una mermelada de orange, verde, naranja. ¿Ok? Using the whole fruit. Bueno, ya aprendimos algo nuevo, entonces. Entonces, jam. Contiene más pedazos de fruta que jelly. Jelly es más como hecha del, del jugo de la fruta. Ok. So, I, I don't know if you have seen in the supermarkets, ¿verdad? There are some um, jams that they contain pieces of fruit. Traen los pedazos de fruta. And then you got jelly. Que solo es el puro líquido. Usted la unta en no fruit. ¿Verdad? Todo viene este, como una pastita. Ok. So, thank you very much, Amy. And what about eh, Rosita? Can you please read Japan's breakfast information? Um... Feet, right toe, mm -hmm. frequent, green tea. Very good. Thank you very much, Rosita. What about Mexico? Who wants to read Mexico's uh, breakfast? Can I yes, you can. Egg, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. Excellent. Thank you very much. Hmm. What, what, what sounds more like delicious um, to you guys? Do you like, do you, would you prefer the U.S., Japan's, or Mexico's? Vamos a ver ahí en el chat. Let me see your option. U.S., Japan, or Mexico. Can you please let me know through the chat, please? Quiero ver en el chat qué dicen ustedes. What breakfast do you find more delicious? The U.S., Japan or Mexico? Veamos ahí. Rosita says the U.S. Okay. Very good. The U.S. This is Dennis. Okay. What about the rest? Okay. What about your answers? This is Marilyn, the U.S. And Mexico, she says. Okay. Yeah. It, it looks delicious. Japan says Wilbur, okay. Jennifer says Mexico. Ivan says Japan, okay. Very good. What about the rest? Kelly says Mexico, okay. Mexico, very good. 
Okay, what about the rest? Very good. Now, guys, está bien difícil. Dice Nelly, the U.S. and Mexico. Okay, U.S. and Mexico. Oh, you know what? I like, I liked the U.S. style for breakfast because I love jam. I love jam with on a toast, right? And just do you have eggs, bacon? I don't eat bacon. I I mean it's delicious, but I don't think it's healthy. No creo que sea muy saludable. That's why I don't eat. De hecho, pues en mi casa no no comemos carne, verdad? Comemos como que somos vegetarianos. Yo no lo soy. Mi esposo sí lo es, verdad? We eat like vegetarian people, but I don't eat bacon. So let me see Japan. Está bien pesado el desayuno de Japan, les diré, ¿ok? Fish in the morning, rice in the morning, soup in the morning, pickles, son como eh, cosas en curtido, ¿verdad? Eh, green tea, ¿ok? The green tea is delicious, guys. I, I really like green tea. Pero está bien pesado el desayuno. En México says eggs, beans, tortillas, tortillas, ¿ok? They say tortillas. Uh, fresh fruit, sweet bread, and coffee with milk. You know what? It looks delicious to me. Actually, it looks very delicious. Parecen esos huevos divorciados, ¿verdad? O huevos, sí, huevos divorciados o algo así de llama, ¿ok? Pero al final creo que terminó ganando eh, U.S. ¿Ok? U.S. <laughs> U.S. dice Reinita, U.S. en México. Quizás los más populares fueron U.S. en México, ¿ok? Very good. Now, guys, uh, what about El Salvador? What do we eat in El Salvador? What do we have for breakfast? What are what are the possibilities for a breakfast in El Salvador? Yeah. Eggs. Okay. What type of eggs? Yes, real chocolate. Eggs. Eggs. Beans. Um, Coffee and milk. Coffee with milk. With milk. With milk. Okay. Coffee Fish. with milk. Fried platani. <laughs> ah, ok, decimos fried, ok. Fried. Bueno, en este caso sería deep fried plantain, ok. O plátanos fritos, deep fried plantain. Puedes escribirlo en el chat. Ya lo escribí. Deep fried plantain o fried plantain, ok. Eh, what about eggs? Ok, you can eat sunny egg, right? Puede ser un, un huevo estrellado, sunny egg. Or it could be scrambled, scram, scrambled eggs, right? Oh, huevo eh, picado, que es scrambled eggs, okay? Scrambled, scrambled egg. Mm -hmm. eh, also, omelette, right? Omelette, creo que se escribe. Let me check, omelette. Just let me confirm the spelling for this one. Because actually you can eat it in different presentations, right? Different presentations, but you see, omelette. Um, yes, I think it's correct. Sí, creo que lo escribí. Coffee. Huh? Coffee. Coffee, okay. Coffee you can. Tiene que egg, of course, right? That's, that's my favorite part of, uh, of breakfast. Yes. ¿Cómo se dice frijoles molidos? Ground beans. Ahorita se los escribo. Ground beans. Ajá. Frijoles molidos. Brown beans. Ground. Cheese. Ok, we eat cheeks. Muy bien. Ground beans. Or ground. Ajá, ground beans. Ground beans. Beans, perdón. Me equivoqué. Ahí es beans. Ground Beans, es, es E A. Beans, ok. Uh -huh. eh, let me see. One second. Ok. What else, guys? What else do we eat for breakfast? ¿Qué más comemos en el desayuno nosotros? If it, if it is, ah, pan francés también, right? Pan francés, that would be. Solo pan. Bones, bones, ajá. Bones, la palabra bones también es moño. Esos moñitos que nos hacemos es un bone. Ok, bone es un bollo de pan, sí, es un bone, ok. Es un bollo de pan, esos son los bones. Teacher, ¿y how do you say 
eh, atol, eh, por ejemplo, cuando hacemos atol de banano con leche, ¿cómo lo, lo atol. ¿cómo se dice? Atol de banana con leche, nunca lo había oído. No, es el, el atol de maicena de sabor, pero usted le echa leche. Así como cuando toma leche con chocolate. Oh, ok. Usted hace atol de fresa con leche, atol de banano con leche. You know what? It, there, there must be a name, pero se lo debo, lo voy a apuntar, because I don't, I don't know how to say that. Let me see. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Uh, uh -huh. No, that would be like, uh -huh. no, but that would, I would, I would say something like uh, pudding, right? Rice pudding, rice pudding. Uh -huh. Rice pudding. Uh -huh. I will type uh -huh. it in the chat. See, rice, rice pudding. Así lo he visto yo. Rice pudding, arroz con leche. Uh -huh. Ok, guys. So, eh, no, no, no escuché la que yo esperaba escuchar, right? Sometimes we eat pupusas at breakfast, at just as, just like that, right? If we don't have time, we just buy a couple of pupusas, right? And we have yeah. them with a cup of coffee or a, a cup of chocolate. Um, I say pupusas with chocolate. With hot chocolate, right? So, pupusas yes. with hot chocolate. Okay, pupusas hot. Pupusas con coffee white milk. Coffee, uh, coffee with milk, okay? Hot choco, chocolate, hot chocolate, right? Huevos ¿cómo se dice? Sunny, ahí está en la lista, Sunny Egg. Huevos rancheros. Mm -hmm. Rancheros eggs, right? Very good. So, well, guys, pretty much that's like a, a little bit of, I would say, the things that we may have at breakfast in El Salvador, right? Or sometimes we just eat uh, stuffed buns, right? Stuffed. ¿Qué, qué es bacon? Bacon tocino. is eh, tocino. Mm -hmm. Stuffed mm. buns, como pan, pancitos rellenos, ¿verdad? Stuffed buns, eh, like with beans or with cheese, etc. Okay? A veces también comemos crema, que es sour cream. Sour cream, okay? okay? Crema, okay? And sometimes we eat pastry, pan dulce, pastry, okay? That's pan dulce, ¿verdad? Pastry. No decimos sweet bread, no vayan a decir así porque no se dice. Se dice pastry, okay? Pan dulce, okay? Then it says conversation. Fish for breakfast? Fish for breakfast? Algo así preguntaría yo de fish, okay? Said, Now, uh, yeah. how do you say tamales? Tamales. Así. Uh -huh. Stuffed tamales. Ajá, tamales rellenos. Stuffed tamales. Es que son palabras nuestras. Por, por ejemplo, si usted vaya a Estados Unidos, usted, ellos saben las palabras. Tamales. O sea, tamales. Ellos saben que son tortillas, ¿verdad? Tacos. Todas esas uh -huh. palabras, ellos las toman pues tal cual nosotros las decimos. Solo que a su modo de pronunciarlas, ¿verdad? Pero hay cosas que no las podemos cambiar porque son culturalmente, pues, latinoamericanas, ¿verdad? Pero sí son tamales, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, I will, I will read, I will read the, con, ¿perdón? No, no, no. No, no, no. Tamales. No, no, no. <laughs> Bye. I will read the conversation, ¿ok? And then I will ask for some volunteers, ¿ok? So it says, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Ok, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, now let's go ahead and have some of you reading the conversation. Okay, so I see Reina and I see Veronica. So, uh, Reina, you will help me with Sara, and Veronica, you will help me with Kumiko, right? So, let's start. Okay. Let's, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to me, my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? 
We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Something we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never had fish for breakfast, but I uh, like two, three new things. Very good, okay. Thank you very much, girls. Okay, don't forget the pronunciation. Let's see. Ah, what was it? Uh, soup. Soup, okay. Soup and try. Soup. Soup. Try. Mm -hmm. Very good. So okay. uh, then I got Rosita and Marilyn. So Rosita, you will help me with Sarah and Marilyn, you will help me with Kumiko, okay? Okay, teacher. Let's have a breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What did you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? The interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, thank you very much, girls. And now I will have two boys. I have Dennis and I have Wilmer. Dennis, you will help me with Sarah, and Wilmer, you will help me with Kumiko. Okay, thank you, girls. Now, boys. Uh -huh. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. <laughs> Sometimes we have a salad too, and we have M M B. And we always. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Excellent, very good, guys. Okay, so uh, I have Jennifer. Jennifer wants to participate. Jennifer, who else? ¿Quién más para que me la ayude? Jennifer. Y con ellas dos terminamos, con estas dos personitas terminamos, ¿ok? So, Jennifer and Nelly, ¿ok? Jennifer, you're going to be Sarah. Nelly, you're going to be Kumiko, ¿ok? Ok. Let's have breakfast. Lo here on Sunday. Ok. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese skill. Breakfast on Sunday? Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. Good job, guys. So if you see what I want to get from this conversation is the use of a frequency adverse. What are the adverse of frequency or frequency adverse that you can see in the conversation? Vamos a ver quién recuerda. What are the adverse of frequency or frequency adverse that you can find in the conversation? Usually. Usually, very good. Sometimes. Sometimes, Sometimes. okay. Never. Never. Never, very good, okay. Always. And okay. always, very good. So those are some adverbs of frequency that we use, right, when it comes to uh, frequency. Now, guys, era algo que, que les, de, de lo que hablábamos la vez anterior, ¿verdad? 
And we use adverbs of frequency, y creo que ese fue de los primeros ejercicios que ya estaban en esa parte al final, perdón, de los ejercicios que están al final de la sección 4, ok? So adverbs of frequency includes the, one, the following. We got always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly oh, ever, never. and never, ok? Sometimes I eat breakfast, says. Now, guys, uh, adverbs of frequency, uh, the, we can give them like a percentage, right? Percentage. I will, I will write it here, percentage. Percentage is porcentaje. We can assign a percentage, right, to each of the adverbs of frequency. In this case, we got always. Always means all the time, 100%. For example, I always take a shower. I always had breakfast, in my case, of course, right? So in my case, I always have, to, I mean, I always take a shower and I always have breakfast, okay? Now, for me, guys, breakfast, perdón que vean que de repente muevo la vista para acá, para acá, y es porque a veces tengo, los tengo acá a ustedes y a veces los pongo acá. Entonces, de, depende de cómo yo vea la, la, la presentación. Entonces, les decía, Uh, you sh always means that it's something that you do every day, right? Like uh, taking a shower or like having breakfast. Like in my case, guys, I have breakfast all the time, always. Yo sin mi desayuno no, no puedo. Like, I need my breakfast in the morning. And then we got usually, que es usualmente. But usually has a very high percentage, right? That's 80% of the times, right? Then we got usually usually right which is just uh perdón often which is on 70 percent que significa often dijimos a menudo. a menudo muy bien a menudo often right so it's like it's not always but it's not also uh, below sometimes it's often entonces tenemos sometimes que es 50 percent verdad la mitad de las veces sí la mitad de las veces no okay for example Uh, I sometimes, I sometimes go to the supermarket. Sometimes I, uh, I mean, sometimes it's me and sometimes it's my husband, right? Uh, we take turns. Nos turnamos para ir al supermercado, right? Entonces, I, tenemos hardly ever, que es, ¿cómo decíamos en español que era hardly ever? Casi nunca. Casi nunca, muy bien. Entonces, that's going to be 25% of the times, okay? And then we got never, and never means zero, okay? It's never, never, never. For instance, um, never, I never, I never go to bed at 1 a.m., for example. I never go to bed at 1 a.m., okay? Quizás lo más tarde, it's 11 Ok, porque después de esto, pues yo me quedo trabajando aquí un ratito and then I go to bed, right? And then next day I have to wake up early. Me toca levantarme temprano porque entro a las 5 a mi trabajo, 5 o 6 de la mañana, right? Entonces, eh, I never do that. Si, si no, pues no duermo. I never go to bed at 1 a.m. Entonces, take a look at the, answer, at, the, at the question. It says, do you ever have fish for breakfast? Ok, do you ever have fish for breakfast? ¿Tienes alguna, bueno, alguna vez, verdad? O comes, verdad? Pescado para el desayuno, etc. Luego, chicos, esto es importante recordarlo porque cuando yo entiendo los porcentajes de los adverbios de frecuencia, eso me permite saber cuál es el que voy a utilizar, ¿verdad? And then, also we got a formula, ¿verdad? En este caso, chicos, cuando yo eh, voy a hacer oraciones con adverbios de frecuencia, debo de saber exactamente en qué lugar van a ir. Por ejemplo, en este caso, ¿verdad? Tengo unos ejemplos. I always prepare a PowerPoint, I'm sorry, presentation for my class. I always prepared a PowerPoint presentation for my class. Always, okay? Whenever I come to the class, I bring my PowerPoint presentation, okay? Entonces, ¿cuáles son los elementos que tengo? Es el subject, right? Vamos a agarrar un puntero de acá, permítanme. Puntero acá. Okay, entonces tengo acá. A subject is this one, right? I, I, luego adverb of frequency, always, luego verb, prepared, and a complement, a PowerPoint presentation for my class. I sometimes go to the movies. So, subject is I, 
other frequency is sometimes and the verb is go and my complement movies okay and then i have also another sentence i often eat pancakes por mí comería bien seguido, pero yo sé que la harina refinada es mala. Así que, I often eat pancakes because my daughter, well, my family loves pancakes. So, I have my subject, I, I have my adverb frequency, often, eat is my verb, and then pancakes. And then I got the next one. I usually eat dinner at 6 p.m. I usually eat dinner at 6 p.m. So I got my subject, which is I, and then my adverb frequency, usually, and then my verb, eat, and then my complement, okay? Vamos a ver, chicos. I want you to prepare, I want you to prepare three sentences. Three sentences using adverbs of frequency, okay? Using this structure that I'm giving you, ¿ok? Es la misma estructura que usaron en el ejercicio, ¿verdad? De, de la plataforma, ¿ok? So, let's go ahead and work on that. Three sentences, three examples, ¿ok? Um, yeah, because actually, bueno, mientras preparan las oraciones, solo déjenme, pero me voy a acomodar aquí. Uh -huh. eh, quisiera nada más recordarles, ahí, eh, mientras preparan sus oraciones, ¿verdad? Son three sentences. Ahí en el chat les compartí más este, interactive worksheets, ¿verdad? Esas interactive worksheets son de countable nouns, ¿ok? Eh, countable and uncountable nouns. Yo las escojo, ¿verdad? Es como que entro, veo qué es lo que hay y veo cuáles son las que siento que les van a gustar más o las que van a ser como más productivas, ¿verdad? Y pues esas son las que yo les comparto ahí. Así de que cuando ustedes necesiten, chicos, algún ejercicio extra, solo ahí escriban en el chat, ¿verdad? Y si no, pues aquí en la clase me dicen. Pero ahí les compartí yo unas interactive worksheets, ¿verdad? Si no tuvieron tiempo hoy, pues mañana y si no, pues el fin de semana para practicar countable and uncountable nouns y también para practicar este uh, food vocabulary, ¿verdad? Luego, pues para mañana vamos a ver quizás un poquito... Perdón, voy a mandarles un poquito de adverse of frequency para que tengan ahí para practicar para cuando usted tenga tiempo. Yo sé que muchos de ustedes trabajan, ¿verdad? Y que no tienen probablemente eh, todo el tiempo para esto, pero cuando usted tenga un chancecito, un break, ¿verdad? O algo, tal vez ahí pues puede como practicar, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver, let's take a look at the sentences. Look at the chat. It says, Marilyn, I always take a shower, she says. Luego, Danny says, I sometimes study my subjects. Hmm. What about English, Dennis? What about English? Luego, Marilyn says, I sometimes watch TV. Okay. Rosita says, I often eat tamales. Yes, I love tamales, Rosita. Okay, quizás, quizás los tamales son uno de mis eh, platos típicos de acá, favoritos tamales, okay? I hardly ever watch movies. Marley says, I usually study English. Very good. Nelly says, I hardly ever watch movies, okay? Ivan says, I always have breakfast, I often play with my cat, and I hardly ever watch TV. ¿De verdad? Well, in my, in my caso, Ivan, yes, teacher. I, I hardly ever watch TV. Yes. Yeah, because actually, if I do something, I prefer to do it uh, from the computer, right? Yes. Rara vez ocupo la tele, ahí está de adorno, creo yo, mi televisa. <laughs> okay, thank you. Very good. What about the rest? What about the rest? Do you have more examples? No more examples? Okay, no problem, guys. Pero, ¿hay alguna pregunta? ¿Entendimos cómo se hacen las oraciones con adverbio de frecuencia? All right, ¿hay alguna pregunta al respecto? No questions? Ajá. Uh -huh. No questions. Okay, very good. Vamos a ver, chicos. Let's continue. Uh, the last part of the platform right? Uh, it was about a, an article. It says, eating for good luck. Eating for good luck, okay? ¿Cuántos ya lo leyeron? Veamos, levanten la manita, ¿quiénes ya lo habían leído? Okay, Rosita dice, ya lo había leído, Denise también, okay? 
Okay, muy bien. So eating for, for good luck. Uh, you, will, you will see the ahí ya van a ver, ya se van a familiarizar. Dice Wilmer también que ella lo leyó. Okay. Tenemos aquí on New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in New Year, in the New Year. Okay. For example, some Chinese people eat tangerines. What is the meaning of tangerine? Mandarina. Mandarina, muy bien, muy bien, mandarina, okay. And then I have a, a tangerine swap. Tangerines are found around, I'm sorry, round foods and and uh, begin again like years, right? Can you read, please, Ivan? Can you read that 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 paragraph? Well, uh, teacher. Uh, primero, some Chinese people. Some Chinese people eat uh, tangerines. Tangerines are round, round foods, and and begin, 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 begin again, like years. Mm -hmm. Very good, interesting, right? Imagínense la lógica de ellos, verdad? Round foods, and and begin again. O sea, no tiene, no tiene, ter, no tiene terminación. Okay, that's why they end and begin again. It says like years. Ajá, como la tierra, ¿verdad? What about number two? Volunteer for number two? Volunteer? Yes. Vamos, ok. Uh, if, uh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? You wish. You wish. Yo to eat for with honey for a sweet Niger. Ok, I like this one, right? So it's, it's a Jewish custom, right? Custom. What is the meaning of custom? What is the meaning of custom, guys? ¿Alguien sabe? Custom. Como, que, como arreglado. Oh, well, actually, then, it's custom means costumbre, right? Custom, una costumbre, okay? Pero custom con E, costume, con una E al final es disfraz, pero en este caso sin la E es custom, right? Una costumbre. Eh, that, that comes from Jewish people, right? It says uh, to eat apples with honey and sweet for a sweet new year, okay? What about number three? Who wants to read number three? Ahí tengo las manitas levantadas. Marilyn, luego Reina y luego Dennis, okay? Marilyn? Greeks eat basilopita. Mm -hmm. eh, basilo, no, it's basilopita. Basilopita. Oh. Basilopita bread with a full inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. Excellent, thank you very much, right? It's similar to Torta de Reyes, right? That they hid a, a little baby Jesus, baby Jesus, right? This one, it has a coin, una moneda, right? Imagine you are, uh, you know, you uh, are eating the bread and then all of a sudden you feel the coin right on your teeth, right? So you're just una moneda, right? For good luck. And then, perdón, Jennifer, no había visto su mano. Jennifer, continue with uh, Spain, y luego Reina con, um, con Japan, y luego Dennis con Americans, ¿ok? Ok. En Spain, en son Latin American countries, people eat 12 eat. grapes. People eat. Sorry, people eat 12 grapes at Midnight on New Year's Eve. One great for good look in each month of the New Year's. Excellent. Well, I don't know. Have you done that, guys? Se han hecho eso, lo de las famosas 12 uvas, the 12 grapes. Have you done that before? Yes. Not <laughs> well, in my case, I have never done yes. it. Oh, yes, you have done it. Okay, very good. Actually, yes. we do that in El Salvador as well, right? So this okay. one. It comes from Spain, viene de España, in Spain, and some Latin American countries, okay? What about the next one, Reina? Dígame. Okay. Solo quiero comentar algo. ¿Sí? Este, aquí también eh, hacen cosas en, en, en las 12 de la noche del 31, eh, con huevo. Oh, really? Eso me da miedo. Ajá, a mí eso me da miedo porque una vez este, vi que mi abuelita lo hizo, y en medio de, de, o sea, ella echa el huevo en el vaso y el vaso empezó a, el huevo empezó a formarse 
aquí en medio se veía como, como que era un féretro y al orilla las candelas, bien feo eso. Entonces, ella, creía en todas esas cosas y me dice, no, eso significa que alguien va a morir este año. Me... Uy, dije yo, esa cosa no. Mejor ya no, dijo. <risa> no, yo nunca okay. lo hice, yo veía que lo hacían. Ok. Pero no, no sé si todavía lo hacen, pero y que cuando se dibujaba un, un vestido de novia era porque alguien se iba a casar y así sucesivamente según el dibujo. Imagine, right? So that comes from ancient times, viene de tiempos antiguos, right? Ajá. Very interesting. Ok. Es okay. una costumbre y eso sí es verdad. Porque a un día le pasó algo similar. Y se me lo vuelve, me salió un ataúd, pues, pelas oh. y todo. Oh my goodness, okay. No, actually, actually, that's kind of sad, okay. But don't worry, let's continue with the reading, okay. Vamos a ver, Reina, can you continue with on New Year's Day in Japan? Okay. okay. On New Year's Day in Japan, we, como se dice? People, people. People, se me olvida. People eat a much rice cake. For a stream in the new year. Thank you very much. You know what? Mochi or mooncakes, I mochi. think they are called. Mochi. 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 Ah. People hit mochi. Mochi rice cakes. Uh -huh. They are very famous there, right? right? And they eat it for strength in the new year, okay? And what about the last one, Dennis? What about an American? American, I'm sorry. Some Americans from South Hern states eat black eight peas and rice with color greens. The black eight peas are like coins and the greens are like dollars. Okay, very good, right? Imagine that's for good luck, right? So they think they see the black eyed peas as the coins and then the green like the dollars, right? So that's to bring luck with money, okay? To bring luck with money. Okay, guys. Now for this particular reading, right, there was an exercise. There was an exercise in the in the platform, okay? And that exercise was about uh, you know comprehension questions, okay? Comprehension questions, right? And um Pretty much that's it. And then at the end, guys, I wanted to finish with a shopping list, okay? What I wanted to do, y si se tiene que desconectar ahorita, no hay problema, se puede desconectar, pero en mi caso, pues, entre cinco minutos después, así que voy a reponer esos cinco minutos por si quieren quedar conmigo. Si no, no hay ningún problema, no se preocupen, okay? Entonces, tengo acá una shopping list, okay? What I want you to do right now is to think about, uh, take a look, take a look around, ¿verdad? Ve hacia su alrededor, vea el, hacia la cocina, okay? Take a look at the fridge y vea qué es lo que le hace falta, okay? So what I want you to do is to write down a shopping list. ¿Qué es una shopping list? Lista de compras. Una lista de compras. Lista de compras o lista de los comprados, okay? I want you to think and I want you to tell me what are the things that you are going to buy in the supermarket, okay? For example, I'm going to make mine. Yo voy a hacer la mía, okay? Let's see. And I'm going to rotate this one. I'm going to make it bigger and I'm going to include what I'm going to buy, okay? Muy bien. So let's go ahead and uh, write down the shopping list and let me see, let me get a letter from here. Well, in my case, guys, I'm going to buy, because actually I run out. To run out is acabarse, okay? Run out, I need eggs. Bless you. Salud, bless you. Okay, let's see. Vamos a ver acá. Chat, I'm going to close here. Y abrir el chat. Cuando yo digo se me acabó, dice run out. Run out of, okay? I run out of eggs, right? Se acabaron los huevos en el cartón de huevos, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, en este caso, I need eggs. I need to buy eggs, guys. Eh, what else? I need to buy also um, milk. milk. No, tomatoes, I have tomatoes. I have to buy a cartoon, a bottle, bottle of milk. Okay. Cereal. Oil. 
Yes, I need some cereal. Some onions. cereal. Onions. Eh, in my case, I have onions. Yo tengo cebolla, tengo, I have coffee. tomatoes. Coffee. Sugar. I have to buy coffee. Okay, coffee. Sugar. Cream. Eh, sugar. Sugar, I still have sugar. Beans, but again, beans. I'm going to buy some sugar. Okay. Rice. Sugar. Uh, rice, no, rice I have. I have plenty of rice. Beans. Un montón de arroz. Beans. Beans, okay. Beans. Teacher, oil. Como oil, así. it's true, I need to buy oil. Y lo digo en serio, esa es mi lista para mañana, de verdad. Some oil, <laughs> yes, <Beef>. it's true. <laughs> okay. Chicken. Eh, no, I don't eat meat. No comemos carne aquí en esta casa, así que. Vegetables. Vegetables, pero vegetables, ¿qué me falta? Wait. I have, I have tomatoes, I have onions, I have carrots. Lettuce, okay. I'm going to buy some. Lettuce. Fruit. Para cu cuando decimos lettuce es a head of lettuce, una cabeza, ¿verdad? I have lettuce. Fruit, teacher. Fruit, it's true. I don't have fruit. Okay, I'm going to buy some apples, probably. Some apples. Some apples. Orange. 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 Juice. Okay. Orange. Juice. Some orange juice. Some orange juice. Muy bien. Oops, juice. Yogurt? Yogurt, it's true. No tengo yogurt. It's cierto. Yogurt, yogurt, yogurt. Okay, what else? ¿Qué más va a comprar la teacher? Veamos. Eh, Beans. Butter. ¿Ah? Butter. Beans. Beans, I prefer beans. Sí, chicos, yo como bastante yogurt, pero compro del, del natural. O sea, me gusta mezclarlo yo con la fruta. Yogurt. Eh, veamos, escuché solo beans, pero había alguien que me dijo otra palabra, no la escuché. Butter. Butter, it's true, butter for the pancakes. Pancakes, ok, pancakes, pancake, mix. Honey. Crackers. Crackers, no, honey I have. De hecho, me la trajeron hace como dos Jam. Días. Jam. Sí, está a media la jam, ok, so tengo un poquito todavía. Ok, jam. What butter. else? Ya puse butter. ¿Qué es ya jam? Puse... Mermelada. Es una mermelada, pero que lleva ah, bastante la fruta. Butter. Ah, yeah. La de fresa. Mm -hmm. I, buy, I buy strawberry jam, ok. Strawberry jam, ok, muy bien. What else? ¿Qué más? ¿Qué me va a comprar? Chocolate. Repeat. Honey. Chocolate. 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 Uh, no, I no, I'm not going to buy chocolate actually. Chocolate. Ah. Well, actually, chicken. Chicken? No, actually, I don't buy chicken. Es que no no compro cosas picantes. Nuggets. Sorry, no todo se puede acordar. I don't have Pas like nuggets. Pasta? pasta. Pasta is true. I need pasta. Okay. What else? I need pasta and also I need uh, tomatoes. Tomato sauce, right? Cookies. So, tomato sauce. Oops. Tomato sauce. Pas? And also cookies. verde. <laughs> okay. Bell pepper. Bring bell pepper. ¿Cómo se dice? Bell pepper. I don't buy nuggets. No, I don't eat nuggets. Okay, guys. Well, I will stop here, guys. I will stop here. Nos emocionamos haciendo la lista de cómo. Aquí la voy a guardar, aquí la voy a dejar ya lista. Okay, so thank you very much, guys, for joining. Muchas gracias porque me acompañaron hoy. Thank you for the thank effort. You, thank you for your time. And I'll meet you on Monday. Hey, You're welcome, you, guys. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye. Good night, Good night teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye, Karen. Good night. 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 Good